man. Hey, Doc. How's it going? I've got a lot to talk about today. <laughs> oh, goodness. <sighs> I mean, how could they not want me, Marv Levy? I'm the next big thing. I mean, what other producer in town can put on a show like I can? Picture this. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Well, I'm the only one here. I'm just standing here. It's your move. You make the move. Are you talking to me? Yeah! <laughs> what? What was that? Taxi Driver. There's a musical rendition of Taxi Driver. There will be. And you can be part owner. How no. about a two-year payment at a uh, hundred bucks a month? No. Fifty? No! A World Vision kid's like ten bucks a month. No. How Stop. about your car Stop. in the parking lot? Stop. I'm a charitable contribution. I'm a 501c3PO. Get, no, Marv, totally no, legit. I'm your therapist. I am oh, not okay. your investor. How, how about this one? Marv, no. Justin Bieber, and it's a streetcar named Desire, but it's a gay musical romp. No, Marv, no. Get oh, out. All right, on, get out. Out, you, out. You out. That's it. Lose. Go, go, go. I, it's an out. opportunity of a lifetime. Out. See you next Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Ah! August 18th, 2010. Subject, Marv Levy. I need a therapist. What am I doing? Am I a good therapist? Do I even like this job anymore? Yeah, I, yeah, I like it. No, 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 I, I don't. Don't say that. Do you like it? No, I hate it. Oh, oh, oh. I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. Oh, why? Why are people so insane? it one more time one more try and if the next patient that walks through this door does not come to a state of complete self-realization then I John Wilson then I John Wilson will end my run as a therapist and pursue my career as an actor I insist, good sir, put down your blade. I throw mine to the side. On the floor it shall lie. Give me your help, or you shall die. Wait a second. Is this Marv? I am death. Oh, Marv, this is not good. Hello, wakey, wakey. I am death. If you fail to help me, you will die. I hope you weren't too attached to that plant. What do you want? Counseling. Yeah, 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 okay, I can do that. And if you don't... I'll die, you, 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 you'll kill me. Yeah, 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 I get it, I get it. Hey, now you're talking. That's Peachy, you know. Whew, this thing's hot. So, I'm Death. Pleased to meet you. Okay, so, like, when do we start? 
Well, that's taking some getting used to. I mean, since that time, I can't eat, I can't sleep. I can't even kill people. I mean, that's what I do, but I can't kill people anymore. You know, don't tell anybody, but I even tried to go watch like these, you know, phony killers, you know, the Freddy Krueger, Jason, those guys, just get a little inspiration, but nah, nothing. I mean, if I could only even maim or a bruise, a hangnail even. Tell me a little bit about this doc. Yeah, Dr. Hornbrook. He's a murderer. Yeah, it sounds like your kind of people, right? Why? He kills people. That's, that's what you do, right? Yeah, but... So he's helping you out. No! He's taking my job. He's stealing my job. I mean, that's my responsibility to kill people, not his. Oh. Okay. Besides, he ain't half as good looking as I am. Um, by chance, how old are you? You know what? You talk a lot. What, is that bad? Yeah, I don't like that. Well, then why did you come to me? Because I got your card from the pocket of my last victim. Thought I'd give you a shot. Victim? Yeah. I knocked him off before coming here and having you lecture me. Was it Marv? Nah, he's got a few years left. Nah, <laughs> sucks for you, right? <laughs> Say, can we get back to this doctor thing? Yes, 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 please. So I don't know what to do, Doc. I go to kill my next victim. And what do you know? He's already dead. This Dr. Hornbrook's already gotten there first. He's quick. He's a lot faster than I am. <laughs> Running shoes. Would you just shut your yap and let me do the talking? I mean, this is unbelievable. You know I could kill you right now, right? And I could throw you to my dogs, and they would rip your head off and start dragging you around and pulling you by the leg, just like I'm pulling your leg now. <laughs> gotcha! Oh, Doc, you should have seen your face. Oh. <laughs> hey, you're all right, Doc. You know, you're okay. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. <sighs> oh, I needed that. What? Um, no? All right, no? Uh, you let me know if you do, okay? So, um, how's this doctor making you feel? Well, not so good, huh? But hey, I, I wrote a poem about him. You, you want to hear it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, it's only part of it. It's not done yet. Ooh. Hey. Ooh. You can Jack Hornbrook in the cocking. The mock his kindred in the sprockin'. His grand saying we'll acquaint with bucking and other chops. Wayne's hold up their fingers walking and poke my hips. Mm. Well, you see, basically, this doctor, he's, he's become such a better killer than me that the kids are making fun of me now. Hmm. Wait, the kids? The kids are making fun of me? Just go with it, okay? Okay, okay. <clears throat> see, here's a sight and there's a dog. Hey, he pierced money a gallon hard. But Dr. Hornbrook, with his art and cursed skill, has made them beat no other fart. Dumbed hit, they'll kill. You see, Doc, I mean, it is the, it's these kids. I mean, they're the ones that really get to me, you know? What's up with these kids? Well... And they used to love me. They used to tell them stories and write them songs and stuff, but then this Dr. Hornbrook comes along and makes a fool out of me, and what do you know, they go running to him. To be pretty honest with you, these kids sound demented. Eh, you wouldn't understand. Just, just take it for what it is, okay? Okay, okay. I, I did like your poem, though. Yeah? Hey, hey, thanks. I mean, that means a lot coming from you. You know, maybe you should be a writer. How do you come to that? Well, you're good at it, and who knows, maybe you can get the children back. Yeah, that's a good idea. You know, that's, that's just what I'm going to do. Just like that? Well, yeah, I mean, my last therapist told me to be more spontaneous, more loose, so this would be a good start. Whoa, whoa, you're kidding me, right? With you not out there, how are people going to die? Eh, who knows? I'll give it to the Grim Reaper or something. I thought you were the Grim Reaper. No. I'm death. Oh. And oh yeah. I gotta kill you. Oh, run, run, run.
<laughs> oh, man, I got you again. Why do you do that? <laughs> Doc, you don't believe anything. You know, that's not really a good quality in a therapist. Hey, look, I'm out of here. Wait, where are you going? I'm going to be a writer of children's novels. I found a cure for death. I found a cure for death. <laughs> August 18th, 2010, subject, death. Faith has been restored. All right, Miss Kathy, I'm ready for my next patient. Mark's here again. Bring it on, Mark. Bring it on. Hey, Doc, I got a great idea. This one can't lose. How about full metal jacket, but no one's wearing a jacket? Hey. 